Hey this is Kevin Phillips again and in this video tutorial what I'm going to be doing is looking at some of the smaller enhancements to Lightwave 11.5. In particular we're going to look at the new ability to add textures to fog color. At the moment I've got these two German aircraft and they're sitting on a ground plane and I've used just a backdrop uh, fog to give it that early morning mist kind of feel. What I want to show you how to do is how you can take advantage of this fog color texture to do things such as a very fast rendering ground fog. So let's click on, uh, let's turn off backdrop color as I've done there. Let's click on T next to fog color to bring up our texture editor. And under layer type, I'm going to select gradient. Now I want the ground fog to come off the ground and fade out as it comes up. So input parameters should be wide distance to object. Object of course is our ground. And it's only going to go as high as about a meter. So let's type one in here as the maximum distance. Left click and let's drag down a key at one meter and let's just make it black and use that and let's check out the effect that we're getting and that is actually pretty cool it's nice soft it's got a nice soft fall off okay the only downside with fog is because it's not a true volumetric effect what it's doing is it's actually fading these things into the black okay you don't notice it so much unless you kind of switch it back to there but fog is a distance from camera effect and even though it's on the ground these are kind of fading into a black fog because that's the color of the fog so what I would do here is I wouldn't use this directly in Lightwave to create the ground fog in the render what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use it to generate a fog pass I guess a black and white image that I can then composite back together in post so let's see how we do that now the first thing I'm going to do is where it says minimum amount of fog, I'm going to whack that to 100%, so it's now solid fog. Press the render, and really fast to render, there is my solid fog, with my nice black aircraft all faded off in there, that we can then comp back on using maybe a screen blending mode. The only thing that's not nice here is that blue background, so I just need to turn off that and make it black as well. Okay, so let's go file, say this is a JPEG, uh, ground fog morning. I'll just overwrite this one I already rendered. I'm going to go to Photoshop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that in. So I'm going to go file, whoops, file, place, ground fog morning. There we go. And I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer to screen. And there is my ground fog, comped back over the top on my other one. However, I do need to drop the opacity because it's too solid. But I can just add this subtle amount of ground fog into my render. Now the downside with this fog is you notice it's quite hard at the horizon because it is only being applied to the actual um, geometry. So it cuts off near the end of that plane. Okay, so we'll knock that back. So what would be really nice is if we can kind of soften that horizon line so that it doesn't have that straight line in there and we can do that pretty easy if we go back to Lightwave. If we go in here we go back to our fog, click the T and we'll add another gradient and this one will say distance to camera so we want it to fade out as it gets to the horizon there and if we uh, let's click use texture for now in fact let's uh, hit tab just to hide those. Top view now each of these squares is 5 meters, so five is about 50 meters to here. So if I say about 40 meters in, let's transition it out about here and just fade it at this point. So let's go back to our camera view, bring those windows back up. Okay, I've got distance to camera, let's say, um, okay, let's say 45. Let's click a key down here. Let's make that black as well. Now if I was just to render that, it's just doing this really nice step thing, white back to black. What I want to do is blend that with my ground fog. So I take it, I say blending mode, I use Photoshop multiply, do a render. So now I have this ground mist that fades out at the horizon line. We can just check the difference. That's that one, that's that one. And that's the one 
that doesn't have the ground fog effect on. Okay, so let's save that file, save JPEG, let's overwrite this ground fog morning too. And let's go back to Photoshop. Let's go file. Let's place that uh, new ground fog in there. Let's return. Okay, so let's put this one back up to 100% so you can see the difference. There you go. Okay, let's make this screen mode. Okay, it's quite nice, it's fading out already. But we don't have that horizon line there that we have in that one. Okay, and we can change this down to just dull that back a bit. Okay, so that's quite nice. And all this has been done through just using textures and the fog color. So as small as an update as it may seem, it's actually quite a nice update. So let's add a little bit of volumetrics into that, or let's fake the illusion of it being kind of more misty. Rather than being the solid, let's go add another layer. Let's add a procedural. And let's make this quite small, that'll do. And let's just try that. Okay, doesn't quite work like that because it goes above and into that. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to change the turbulence to Photoshop multiply. And now it just multiplies that fractal into here to give us a more cloudy appearance. Now we can save this and just see what this looks like. Let's make that number three. Let's go back to Photoshop. Okay, let's go file, place. There we go. Now with our new misty look. Change it to screen, and we can adjust this to taste. That just adds a little bit of subtle noise into it. And that is how we can make use, or just one use I should say, of our textured fog color to create something that we couldn't do before. Um, very easily, now on Lightwave 11.5. So pretty cool stuff. So go out, have an experiment round. Have a play with all the different textures and the different effects you can get with color, even with a node editor in here using a node editor procedural. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.